Did you just say lose five teeth? Because that is a uh, there's a trailer park. No, I said saga. Radio off the, the ledge. <laughs> there's a trailer park saga game somewhere in America, and the way and I know we're getting off topic. Surprise. Oh, it's 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 it's, uh, it's, it's redneck life. Yeah, Redneck yeah. Life. Yeah, and I played it. Like, back. the way that, like, th- bad things happen to you, like, you only have 20 teeth, and so you get your little pill plan there, and you have to make, mark off your teeth. Yeah, you lose the tooth. And, like, <laughs> for every bad thing that happens to you, and eventually you get, like, the negative teeth. <laughs> That's a funny game. Oh, God. It's a, yeah. I know that there's just, like, one game that they made, and it's called All Out of Bubblegum. And it's like, yeah, it's called All Out of Bubblegum. And so, like, to do stuff, you have to spend bubblegum to do, like, really badass... You have to come up with, like, the most badass thing to do. And then to do it, you spend bubblegum if you fail. It's weird, but it's really funny. <laughs> Definitely check it out. Okay. Did you all see the new, like, movie or supposed movie that's coming out with Seth MacFarlane in it? And it's, like, the spoof on Star Trek? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm, I'm looking see. forward to it. I'm... Totally looking forward to it. Because we're not going to get a Galaxy Quest 2 with no. fucking Alan Rickman. Oh, that pisses me off. We had 20 years to make a great movie. Sequel. And that was a great... They had an epic cast yeah. for Galaxy yeah. Quest. I had a home with Waterfall and Galaxy Library. Tony Shalhoub was perfect as the engineer. Shalhoub? Whatever his name, name is. Yeah. I just think that's a funny last name. Yeah. And then you had a uh, guy... Alan Rickman, Tim Allen... You had the guy that played Guy, the red shirt. Yeah, and then you had, um... Uh, That's the Sam, uh... He was in the... He was the, the bad guy in, uh... Green Mile. Yeah. Uh, that guy. Yeah, Sam something. Rockwell or... Sam Rockwell. Yeah. Yeah. Great and, movie. Oh and my god. Like, my, my favorite part of that movie is, like, years later I'm watching it and I'm going... What do you mean again in the the air shafts? And I'm watching it like, in what actual movie were they sneaking around in air shafts? And then like the other day I'm watching Aliens and like, this movie they were sneaking around in air shafts. (laughs) (laughs) My favorite part is Alan Rickman's like breakdown at the beginning of the movie. He's like, I have to say that line one more freaking time. (laughs) By What a savings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Bruce, I found it. So All Out of Bubblegum is an extremely short role-playing game that uses bubblegum as a pacing mechanic. Players start with eight sticks and either have to roll greater if the action falls in the kicking ass category or equal to or under if it does not in the number of remaining sticks on a D10, 1D10 to resolve an action. Stick of bubblegum is lost if a successful ass kicking roll is made against the character, or when the character fails a non ass kicking roll. When a character is all out of bubblegum, they automatically su- succeed at all combat related actions, but automatically fail at all non combat related actions. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Um, well. Wow. Spice is here to do that. It's your initiative, Paladin. Oh, shit. I failed my roll, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I'll go again if you want. No, you're good. You're good again. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. So if, I, if I critically fail, does that mean I can't use my second attack? <sighs> my rules, no. Okay, I'm going to use my second attack. I almost forgot. You didn't critically fail either. Oh, well, I failed. But, uh, you failed, not critically failed. 6 plus 11... Well, 6 plus 13, that's going to be a 19 to hit. Nope. Is that including your plus 2 from the bar? Yeah. Okay, sorry, dude. Okay. Okay, this is it a plus 3 or plus 4? You get one for plus. Plus and bards uh, inspire courage, don't stack. So that's a 3. Oh, okay, so 3. Yeah. Plus didn't go off. Prayer and. Uh, okay, it's prayer, not plus. Sorry. And he's only got one level of bard. <laughs> Aradan will try once again to use his short sword and dagger on this thing, and it's just not like Aradan is not statted for construct fighting. He's he's getting 
he's had a really good injury, like not good at all, and he's not feeling like this is exactly what he signed up for. <laughs> he's crying. I'm out. See you later. <laughs> this is I, bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> he's, 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 he's like time out, time out, time out. Throws his knife and throws around and just leaves. <laughs> your initiative, my friend. <laughs> I'm a ranger. What am I doing underground? <laughs> Wrong campaign for you, buddy. <laughs> He's like, how the fuck did I even get here? How are you supposed to be here? <laughs> Whoever gave me this favorite Some train is full of shit. <laughs> Occupied with said ranger, I'm going to sink attack again. Yeah. I haven't seen my favorite train. I haven't seen my favorite enemy. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 5 plus 14 I haven't been above ground in three weeks. 19. 5 plus 14 is 19. It's you like 20. if... All right, is that include plus two or not? That, yeah, well, that was a, uh, that was a uh, uh, plus, plus two 11 players created by, like, people, yeah. you know, or whatever, uh, you could talk to the people who So, yeah, it was plus two, plus two, plus two, plus so 13, <laughs> plus five, so that'd be actually 18, sorry. You need plus, you need 20 total. Yeah, okay. Uh, wait, yeah, you, you need a, a 20 to- yeah, total on this. Yeah, 18 on the first, and uh, 13 plus 11 is 24. Plus two twenty six. All right. And this will be a forty six, or actually five d six. Plus seven. So five, ten, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Plus seven, twenty eight points of damage. Damn! I wish I could hit it. On that. <laughs> <hit>. <laughs> Cut into it pretty vi- pretty viciously. <laughs> Smashing as hard as you can. <laughs> Why is our road destroying the golem and the bell that ain't doing shit? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to fire the paladin. <coughs> All right. Once Let's again, go. fuck off. <laughs> Don't you know who is a paladin level. <laughs> Alright, so the acid does five points of damage this round. I'm gonna walk out and just back where you were. Attempt one more shot. Mm-hmm. Oh god. Someone's getting hit. Did you get a one? Yes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking in my armor. How, how bad how bad is it? It's a bat one. Well, roll in. <laughs> okay, I got 19 on the second roll. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. You, it goes absolutely wide, but... I grace the spell. I like this spell. I don't know if this spell Sorry. <laughs> Let's do this. I have a feeling Goose is just doing this to be fucked with me. To do what with you? To, to fuck with me? I'm just looking at me, dude. The uh, flesh golem decides to give both barrels to the rogue. The first attack misses, the second attack uh, most assuredly clocks him. 24? Not a critical hit. <laughs> you should you should feel elated about that. <laughs> I'm gonna ring your bell again! <laughs> <laughs> and you'll take 15 damage from him. <coughs> that sucks. Yeah. And the 31. Alright. Um, <laughs> spicy. Uh, Spicy's going to kind of get up to so move him up five feet, but their attack of opportunity from the first golem. Well, he's he's much a giant. He can reach, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's got ten foot of reach. Oh. Well, Spicy Fingers is going to take a small beating. He can reach three players? Yeah. Yes. That's cool. <laughs> See the little guy's eyes kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not fun for the guy. Um, I didn't realize how bad his two hits gonna be for having 
That level of bard and first level of divine muse. Got no BAB, dude. Sorry. A little bad. Yeah, a little bad. A little bad. Um, <laughs> that flesh golem is bleeding out pretty badly. Especially in the hip where you've stabbed it a couple times. Good. You made it angry. Keep going. <laughs> All you hacking at that hip. I look at Grav and I say, By Grav Dar's hand, I will avenge you. First wow. one. Hey, that's not a fucking one. <laughs> so, plus 13. Uh, that's going to be a 21 to hit. Um, let me use these. Hit it real good. I'm going to hit it real good. It's going to be 1d8 plus 5. Uh, so, 5, 10. 10 damage. <clears throat> And then for my second. Damage. Yep. Hey, it's not a one, but it's a two. <laughs> that's not gonna hit it though. Oh, so. well, I'm not concerned. The paladin is over there. Like you're not an evil man. You're just misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. Go <laughs> on, oh, just get out of here. You're just a scary looking flesh dog. Really nice on the inside, I'm sure. You have a really big heart. But <laughs> Rathdar's hammer, what a saving. <laughs> you see the ranger over there, like, trying to two-handed attack this thing, and he's just miserable at it. Are you adding your plus two from the ranger? Yeah. Okay. All you. <laughs> Since he is preoccupied again, sneak attack again! 13 plus... 13 is 26. Al. 10 plus 13 is 23. Al. So, 5d6. Fuck, this must put it up. 5d6 plus 4. Oh. 5, 7, 12, 13 plus 4. 17 points of damage on the first. 5d6 plus. Seven on um, the second hit. Did this thing was evil? It'd be down. Five, nine, ten, eleven, and plus the seven. Thing put a construct. Plus seven is uh, eighteen points of damage on the second hit. As uh, you point your weapon into it, your second weapon into it, uh, you feel a lot of weight pressing into you from the pommels. <laughs> And it uh, starts to collapse on you. Help me out! Ah, nice! Get it! Ah. Nice. <laughs> I'm like, uh, hello! Hello? I, I, I lean down and go, you rang. <laughs> this thing's huge. Somebody help! Somebody help me down there! Somebody! Help me! Between you I'll and help you, May Chant. <laughs> Ooh, you lift his finger. <laughs> 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 I'll help him. So I'll voice it off. Do you have acrobatics check to get out from under him? You did. I'm, I'm helping you out. Right. Hey, you're good. Amazing. <laughs> 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 I'm not doing a whole lot. Let my sword on the flesh construct. Jackass. Clean <laughs> <laughs> up my swords. Swords from construct Ictor. This thing is, uh, Pretty big. You rolled over and you managed to scrape it off. Although whenever it fell on you, you noticed that it had around its grubby neck a really nice gold chain. You go back to it and you know, look for the clasp and you pull it off and it's Detect really evil. Detect magic. Neither of which it radiates. <laughs> Mike! <laughs> uh, it does have on there a bronze, a silver, and a gold key. <laughs> Both you and I are all disappointed. Uh, <laughs> for two different reasons. <laughs> I, I uh, continue to, to search him to see if wearing any clothing or you know, it's just all flesh. All flesh. All right. <laughs> it's like, I found this in the So I, I look at the Hi, keys. Oh. They just look like <laughs> regular keys. Regular keys. Yes, sir. <laughs> like the seagulls. <laughs> Finding Nemo. The seagulls. My, 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 my,
<laughs> I've got that as a notification on my phone. <laughs> I was seeing all my parents, right, when I first moved out to San Diego, right, and I was near the ocean. First time I've, like, ever seen seagulls, right? I hate seagulls. Yeah. With a passion. They suck. <laughs> they are the rats of the sea. Yeah. They shit on everything. They fucking will eat anything. Like, they're disgusting, right? <laughs> Leave McDonald's bag out, you know, to, oh, to get on the boat. And yeah. Like, McDonald's bag is gone. So yeah. Like, like, one seagull's, like, flying off with it, like, 40 other chase them. Yeah, right? that's funny. It's not like... I eat it, you know, seagulls suck. And they're like, oh, they can't be that bad. I'm like, you don't understand. You don't understand. Right? Yeah. Just... My parents come out, right? And the, my mom had gotten, like, McDonald's or because they were doing, like, the whole beach thing, waiting for me to get out of work. And she had left it on, like, her towel. I was, like, going to help my sister for, like, not even, like, a couple seconds. She goes back, and the seagull is dragging her <laughs> yeah. down the beach. And my mom's like, I can't. She spent, like, 30 bucks on this bag. She had, like, four burgers. She ain't eating anything. Yet. Oh, my she God. She was like, oh, my God. I'm like, see? He's like, yes, yeah, man. I told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> and then Dad's there, and he's like, this. There's shit all over my car. Like, I just washed it to come up here because he's like, you know, one of those stickers by yeah. the car. I'm like, yeah, I told you. I'm like, telling you all, seagulls suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, have you ever given one of a seagull and Alka Seltzer? Yes. Alka Seltzer and Rice. Negative Ghost Rider. That shit's so fun. But it's really <laughs> bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only joy you get from seagulls is watching them explode. Yes. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but I'm. I, I have to agree, man. I live. Our command was getting so sick of us because they would shit on our boats and we had to go out there and do a freshwater wash down on them. All the time. It would like ruin. Yeah. And not just that, but if you have too much bird shit, it causes like sickness. Yeah. yeah, and then the other is like it'll eat at the, the paint, the outer and the paint, and everything yeah. like that yeah. on it. But you also, like, when you wash into the water, you have to contact. EPA because there's so much bird shit going into this. It like really is fucking bird shit. So we would do freshwater washdowns and uh, so we would get sick of seagulls shitting on our shit. So we would have to put out like an alpha stuff towels, like maybe they'll fucking, you know, get sick of it. And eventually it did. Well, our command got tired of cleaning up fucking bird hitters on our fucking boats <laughs> <laughs> because they were exploding on the deck. Like they, the alpha stuff are like, they get so like. Well, it can't, like, they can't fly, yeah. you know? So they just kind of, you know, explode on our deck. And they're like, can't do that anymore. So we started putting out, like, these little stupid owl decoys that didn't work at all. They would just take the owl decoys like they were food and just they fly They carry off. it away. They're like, they got a story right here. <laughs> so we started getting on ice. And they're like, yeah, this is the same thing. Because all we, all the rice does is when it, absor- it absorbs it, they have no belch reflex, so yeah. they can't belch it out. Yeah. And they would just kind of blow it up and die. And they're like, you can't do that because PETA's complaining about animal cruelty. Why does it matter? Go to hell. <laughs> yeah, fuck Tito. We literally had a Tito. camel get stuck in uh, an uh, anti vehicle ditch, right? And Peter found out about it, and the Peter contacted the Marines that we were attached with on, on my first contract, and they had to go on patrol outside of base to go pull this camel out of this ditch because Peter was complaining about it. So they had to go out in the hostile territory to pull this camel out. Because it was stuck in an anti vehicle ditch. Yeah. In Helmand, the most dangerous fucking province in Afghanistan at that point in time. Why didn't Peter go get the camera? Because Peter's a bunch of fucking idiots. How does Peter find out about it? Because a Marine fucking told Peter about it. It got back to Peter. And it made, it made <laughs> the, the Marine Corps Times. It oh showed up God. front page, Marine Corps Times, <laughs> you know, Marine Corps go out and rescue camera, right? And so. They were trying to get out of the ditch, so there's like 30 Marines and like all this shit trying to get this camel out of this ditch that's, by that's just hurting possible, it, you yeah. know? Well, what they ended up doing, because the camel wouldn't, didn't want to get out of the ditch. It would just kind of like, you know, kind of round the side. It was more than capable of getting out, but it just wanted to stay in the ditch because it was fucking jade. So they tapped the, they, they tied the toe strap around his neck and pulled it out oh, to the And that was how they got it out of the vehicle ditch. I'm like, if Peter found out about that, like, you know, <laughs> they actually got it out? <laughs> you lure it out with, with salmon and good fiddles. <laughs> no, actually, we, 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 we tied it to an Abrams take. And just decided, we just choked it and 
pulled it out. Camel? What camel? We didn't see a camel. That would be right. there. That there. Right. Camel. And then the Marines got sick of the Atkins taking the engineering states, right? Because it's like free aluminum, like scrap metal. There's hundreds of these things everywhere. And they're like, they're a good chunk of metal. So and they hold down the Constantino water. So yeah. the Afghans were taking engineering stakes. So the Marine Corps got so pissed at them for taking these engineering stakes that they, for every engineering stake they took, they went and raided a nearby village and took all of their sheep and goats. It was like, for every engineering stake we'll get back, you'll get back one sheep or goat. And then they had them for like a week <laughs> all these, and no way to feed them. So half of the goats and the sheep died. <laughs> <laughs> Peter found out about it, no, and no. the Afghans returned the stakes because they needed the goats, and they they returned all the, Af the engineering stakes and returned for half of the population of goats and sheep that we took. <laughs> That's how the Marines solve problems. <laughs> That's why they eat crayons. <laughs> Watching 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 John Burke yesterday explain you like yellow crayons best. That was probably the highlight of yesterday. <laughs> I love John Burke, man. He he gets my fucking shit going, man. But the best one, the best video of all time for like motivational <laughs> is that Marine General, like right before the invasion or whatever, and he's talking about John Glenn. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the best motivational speech I have ever heard. So, this thing is off Brev, and we got the key. Yep. Yes, we got the keys. Brev is feeling better. <laughs> During that time, um, oh. Spicy Fingers has decided. Spicy, my man! Everybody needs an extra 10 hit points. I haven't gotten hit a single time that fight, so I'm good. Oh. Let's see if you can reach in spells. Why we have a cleric? Oh, you know, oh spices are cleric, right? Yeah. Oh. Divine Muse. Mm, yeah. Doesn't, doesn't really do a whole lot to. <laughs> I love you talking about the thing. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> if you guys are looking out to your left, oh. <laughs> you passengers will see something that the, the passengers on the right won't because they suck. On the left hand side of the plane is a Grand Canyon. I'm going to angle the plane to get a better view of this. Please tell the people from the right not to cross the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> They'll see it on the return trip. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I can't understand you. Can you lift up your thing so we can hear what you're saying? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Kylo Ren and... Where's the way to... Sorry, I can't understand you. What are you wearing? This this apparatus? I don't know what you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you guys see the... The po Something that the... On Nightwatch Games, uh, Peric and Brenda, Brenda posted that... Poe is here. He has no fear. Ray was dropping I saw it. Yeah. You never saw all the sound of music? No. I tried to forget that. As oh. soon as I saw that, as soon as I so saw funny. that, it got right back. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for I thought it was hysterical. I did too. <laughs> did you sing it when you read it? I did. <laughs> did, I? did you see my comment? I was like, yeah, you can help but not sing it. <laughs> yeah, you can't help it. When you're a little kid and your mom's got control of the TV, you're going to watch Sound of Music every time it's on syndication. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> you understand what it's like living in the middle of nowhere when you have three channels. Oh, God. It was that, the uh, Little House on the Prairie, uh, and... Um, Anytime Big Valley was on, or Gunsmoke. Uh, Gunsmoke was in my house. Really? Uh, Appaloosa, and the Waltons? The Waltons, yeah. The Waltons. Good night, yeah. John Boy. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not John Boy. Little House on the Prairie, though. <laughs> or uh, Dancing with Dances with Wolves. That was the other one. Love that movie. If uh, if you've got a YouTube, uh -huh. if, I would suggest you subscribe to Grunt Style and watch all the old Grunt Style videos. Yes. Because they have okay. bedtime, bedtime stories with first sergeant. <laughs> bedtime stories with first sergeant are great because this guy he has like a perfect bedtime reading voice. 
Yeah, he has like that know. deep kind of like bass. Everybody yeah. knows that all Marines say good night, Jesse, because we're nothing if not stick with tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse the Marines is like Zeus to the Greek gods. <laughs> oh, it's great. Who's Jesse? Jesse, Jesse Fuller. Fuller. Jesse Fuller. He was a four-star general back in the 50s. Okay. Yeah. And he's like the patriarch saint of like Marine Corps. Marine Corps. He's the um, most decorated Marine in Marine Corps history. Oh, wow. Um, he's like on the almost on the scale of Audie Murphy. Oh, wow. Yeah, he has like... Close. Yeah. He has like four Navy crosses and 15 uh, medals that he's got from combat, medals. from combat distinguished medals. World War Two, Korea? Yeah, World War Two. He was on Iwo Jima, he got shot twice. Yeah. Shit. I'll just pull up. Didn't, didn't he go out when they're surrounded? He, yeah. They, they, he, the, the forces got surrounded. The forces Japan. got surrounded. He ran back to the beach. Grabbed the boat. destroyer. Uh, got on the boat. Yeah, got on the destroyer. Got on the destroyer. He started shelling, shelling the, the, the enemy forces. Enemy forces. And then called for a second system. amphibious assault, even though he had no authority to do so because he's fucking chesty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that... He was like a second lieutenant this time. He's like uh, a nobody. Wow. And he's telling the CO, like, fucking do this. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, like, his, oh, it's great. I, mean, I just need to pull it up. All right, we're going to take a break for uh, uh, copyright and reasons. We even got a whole lot done. Yeah, we just killed a flesh. We, we killed flesh all. Come on now. <laughs> we got a flesh all killed in five hours of game. Come on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys. You mean, like, 30 minutes of game and four and a half hours talking. <laughs> Just as much my fault as anybody else's. <laughs> yeah. Quarter goes on for about another three feet. That hooks a, a uh, right. Did I have my gazpacho bag? Hmm? My character that I showed you, my grip yeah. The yeah. The mouse or whatever? <laughs> the, the toad. Um, toad. Mm-hmm. It's a small toad that's like super fast and got toxic skin and uh, some other alternative racial traits. So I didn't kind of give him toxic skin. No, he didn't. But thank, I'm not thank, a hack. You. <laughs> thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I bet you he tastes pretty good with, with fries. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> He's a necromancer, too. Oh, frog legs. Frog legs are good. He's going to put salt on you when he kills you. <laughs> <laughs> Deep fry you. Ah. <laughs> anyway. You guys are walking along, and you walk along this corridor, and it hooks to the right at a 90 degree angle, mm-hmm. and it goes for another at least 30 feet, that's what you can see in the gloom, and you notice that mm-hmm. your ranger friend is kind of investigating one of the walls. He's like, Elf, come here. Yeah. Which elf? Oh, that elf. <laughs> and where's your fig for Lydia? I would like to see I would like to see a good person that can cosplay cosplay as Lydia. And I'm sure I could find it. Your burdens are my own. <laughs> Here you go, here's Nelf. In my my campaign and she died. We got separated and then she got killed by like a frost troll. Mm-hmm. Well, you only, had to have killed only her. you can kill. Well, that's what you had heard you say that once, but I went down and she was dead. Seriously, you probably accidentally killed her. Yeah, yeah. it's probably why. Because <laughs> none of the NPCs will die unless huh? you like I'm here give them the killing blow. Really? Yeah. Huh? Really? I'm yeah, like like any of your companions? I'm gonna become Jarl. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm here, <to> sir. <laughs> So. <laughs> and I think if too many of them die, like it'll come back and like they fit it in there. So like if you kill them or whatever, like you kill too many companions, some people will not want to follow you. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, oh fuck that. Nope, that's Batman. <laughs> don't join him, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> that's Dirty Harry. You don't want to be his partner. <laughs> what are you saying? I like Dirty Harry. But I like my red shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I love this meme where it's like a stormtrooper shoots at a red shirt, what happens, and it's like the stormtrooper misses, the red shirt dies anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a meme? Yeah. 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 The red shirt dies anyway. 
Okay, you can take such a dramatic pose. <laughs> I've got a question about the companions and the companions. All right. Light. I'll wait till we're Skyrim finished. or yes, light? Skyrim. Yeah. Okay. The worst part is that like everybody on the Enterprise has to go down to the planet like at some point or another with Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> like I remember watching an episode where he's like, "Yeah, everybody has rotation." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Oh shit! I feel so bad for everybody on that ship." <laughs> Because, like, if you think about it, every episode, there's some fucking catastrophic thing that happens. And so, like, every episode, it's like every other weekend, something catastrophic happens on the Enterprise. <laughs> Everybody almost dies every other weekend. I would hate to be on the Enterprise. <laughs> like, you probably have a better I think chance the one of survival. Star Trek that, like, somebody goes down and, like, doesn't die is, uh... That Shore Leave episode, right? <clears throat> no, it's, like, through the whole series. Oh, is which series? The NX-01. The, the Enterprise. You mean Kirk's Enterprise? No, or like, Bacula? uh, Bacula's Enterprise. Okay. I think, I don't think a single red shirt actually name. dies. Well, uh, over in, uh... On, in the original series, there was that episode where they go on a shore leave on this, like, paradise planet. And, like, people die, but they don't actually die. Yeah. So there's that episode, but, I mean, they do show people getting fucking shot. <laughs> and the chick that they got to play, um... What's-her-face? What's uh, What's-her-face? The Vulcan on Enterprise. Oh, yeah, she was in the Yeah. She's pretty. I need to watch Enterprise. That's great. I like DS9. This sounds good. DS9 probably has the best storyline. Really? Yeah. That's like the one. Far, that's like the prequel one, right? No, no. DS9 is like the spin-off of Voyager. Voyager. Next generation. Oh, okay. Yeah, Voyager. I thought Voyager was a spin-off of. A Voyager is a spin-off of DS9. Yeah. DS9 is a spin-off of the Next Generation. Yeah. Which was the one that was like. The most recent one where they have like it was like a prequel. That's Enterprise. Enterprise. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, that's the one with Scott. It's Bacon. on Netflix. Yeah, that one was cool. Yeah. I really. Did you like name that one. like the only? I think there's only two people that appear in Enterprise that are actually in the Star Trek series. Um, I know it was it was was it like it was what was Spock? It was uh, was it his father? No. Nope. I can't remember. It's um, Riker and oh yeah, he played chef. He yeah, played the chef. Yeah, yeah, he played the chef. Oh, that's that's next to nobody ever saw the chef. So yeah. he, everybody's like, oh hey chef. So the only time you ever actually see somebody who they call chef, yeah. you don't see his face, yeah. you see his body. And then, yeah. and then, and then it's the last episode the is last called episode. the last voyages. Yeah, and it's Riker and Deanna Troy. Yeah, yeah. Two characters. Yeah. Denise Robbie? No, not Denise Robbie. Uh, Marina. Martina Sears? Yeah. yeah, the one that plays yeah. the Android. What did, the one that marries Riker. What did she play in in the She is. I forgot um, about that one. Riker's going through because he's trying to figure out if he wants to take a commission or something. So Diana, as his counselor, tells him, all right, we'll go through like the. Hol go to the holodeck and go through like the. Like the recording or whatever. And he's like, all right, well, do I play, you know, in this whole thing? And they're like, well, just play chef. Everybody talks to chef, you know, the cooks, and that's what he does. And so Riker is the face yeah. of chef, yeah. but he's not actually chef. Yeah. He's just filling in the role. Yeah, yeah. Funny. So it's going through, and he's like getting real personal with, because yeah. they didn't have a counselor at the time, so everybody talked to the cook. Yeah, I haven't seen that show in two years. Uh, I wish it, I kind of wish it hadn't gotten canceled. And Bakula actually got a little upset that Riker had appeared in the last movie because it was supposed to be Bakula's, um, like, series. Yeah. And then the last episode, the writers put in uh, the person that plays Riker uh, in there. Yeah. And Bakula was, was upset. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they, they ended, the, they didn't, I mean, they ended the... Because he was upset that his show, got, it's kind of like throwing salt in the moon, that yeah. the next generation and everybody else was still going, and then yeah. his series got canceled. Well, no, they, they, uh, Enterprise came out long after, uh, yeah. Next Generation. I well, mean, it ran for a couple seasons, like three seasons. Uh, well, like, Riker was known. Yeah. The person says Riker, I forget, Fraser. Jonathan Fraser. Jonathan Fraser. 
Um, he was he's still like going to stuff for Star Trek. Okay. And he was upset that what was the show with the guy? it was oh, just right. supposed oh, to be like it? his crew. It's supposed to be like a new thing. Yeah. yeah. And he was upset right. that they brought in Riker. Yeah. Riker yeah. from. But in the in the in the storyline, I mean, it, it ended. You know, at the end of you know at the end of their adventure. Well, the last the last season, like everything up uh-huh. until that point, like had a point in the storyline. Yeah. And then the last season, because they knew it was going to be the last season, it's kind of like just, posh posh of everything, trying yeah. to rush everything in. Yeah. And then saying. the last episode was yeah. like the last one. He was yeah. upset that. Yeah. So we're here, and uh, so you, they have found a secret, secret door. door. You have to get through this door. Um, the ranger kind of presses on a uh, wall, and you can see a scene presumed. And so you get over there, the and... Detective. Detective. None. <laughs> so they're right here? Yeah, it's kind of up high on the, sea, the wall. And so when you eventually... <laughs> Let the rogue in, he starts working the wall, he looks for traps first, then he looks for the sliding panels, and he finds one. And he moves out of the way, and it's a little chute that, it's high up on the wall, but then it angles down into this room here. Okay guys, I see the entrance kind of angling down to the room. Uh, let me take a quick peek around slowly and see if there's anything in there. So I'll kind of eke my way. Can I have to slide down or can I like kind of crawl down and kind of look in the room? Is the room lit, lit or is it dark? Or? And as you look into it from the other room, from, from the shoot area, you see a bunch of handholds on the wall. So it makes it for an easy climb down the wall. Okay. Before. It's about 15 foot down. Okay, guys, I'll climb down and rolling perception. Nine plus 13, so a 21. 22, my bad. Do I see anything? You don't see anything. This room has three doors on each, each wall. Okay, guys, the room's empty. Y'all want to come down? Okay. Watch your step. Right, yeah, you guys clamber down pretty easily through the chute and grab the wall as you hang for a bit and scurry on down. And Squares, not on the. Hmm? They're not large creatures. Peppy. Because <laughs> then you don't actually know which square they're in. Large creatures. <laughs> not necessarily Peppy, but like OCD. Yeah. Kind of thing. <laughs> so, uh, three doors. So nothing else is in the room. The room is bare, or is it? It's, it's bare. Left door first. Work your way around. Well, let's all open a door at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> on three, ready? No. <laughs> and sounds... we are surrounded by zombies. <laughs> 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 door sounds good. Uh, check. Detect magic. On that door. This door. When you detect magic, by the way, if you detect magic over here, when you come in this room, you do see magic emanations on some of the doors, the portals that are in here. Oh. Uh, they oh. are each tied to uh, something. Oh. Can I concentrate more? Sure. <laughs> they've got, they've got uh, something conjuration magic on them. I don't like the face you're making. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when we open these doors, it's going to either summon, summon like, uh, like say like a swarm of elementals or something, or it's going to be like, dim door! And we're gonna like teleport somewhere else. Oh, Actually, it'd be more closer to gate, but yeah. Okay, gate. God damn it. <laughs> Can I detect the power level of like how strong the aura is? Moderate. Moderate. Okay. Moderate. More than likely, it's gonna summon swarms. Can I detect evil on the doors? You can't. No detect evil. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think it is. I think it's not. You open it and then BAM! Open it and then all hell breaks loose. Yeah. <laughs> Fire elementals! Fuck! <laughs> so I see. Uh, the so Bruce. Should we try the doors? Which if door you want? You, which door will you, Jimmy? One of them has a donkey well, behind I, it. I will, uh. If I'll, you're gonna do that door, I'm going back here. Okay, I'll do this door. Put me in front. Put me next to you or something. I'll, uh. Look at the keys. I'll be standing right next to it like this. So the doors have locks. 
<laughs> so you just need it back and <laughs> close the door. So you look at the doors under normal lighting conditions. You notice that the north one is gold. That one over here is silver. So that's north. And that one is that one is uh, gold, silver, bronze. Yep. I'll take the gold key. With the key. Okay. Oh shit! I'll take the key. Uh, insert the key and the lock. Open the door, then As jump he back. enters the lock, you see the magic swirl around the portal. I jump and back. The, there's a, you can tell the spell trigger happens. Oh, can I spellcraft to determine what spell? Sure. So was my jumping back effective? Yeah. <laughs> no? <laughs> no? <laughs> it is unlocked. But it's a 39 level. It looks like a summoning spell. I'm priming my. I'm, I'm already standing by the door, uh, ready to swing. Deep dookie on me. I had to go and open the door, didn't I? <laughs> you didn't open it. You unlocked it. Uh, the door is unlocked. Okay. Summon monster level four. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, and, uh, <laughs> now it goes off because it takes a full six seconds for it to go. Is she pooping your armor again? <laughs> <laughs> you see a very large creature that we can't say is a Pathfinder creature, but it's got a very large uh, hulking carapace, like he's a center lineman for the Bug football team, with many, 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 many eyes. And everybody in the room has to make a will save versus confusion. <laughs> I'm not facing the other way. <laughs> so it's an aura. It, it's... You're a Yeah, it, it just... Oh, what save? <laughs> that one. Oh no. I rolled a one. And breath gone. <laughs> <laughs> you got, if, if you've got uh, any data on your phone, you need to pull up the spell confusion. And every round, you need to roll. Okay, well, it was uh, that one plus Lydia three, so four. 18. What? Lydia got an 18. She got a 21. A three of the wizards would more likely be good. Oh, I don't have that. I don't have that app anymore. I meant. Can uh, in those six seconds of summoning, can I determine what has been summoned? Yeah, okay. this. Like, so, what? knowledge. Bug city linebacker. Uh, it is an aberration, <laughs> so it would be dungeoneering. I'm I'm confused. Uh, That's on the right. So just you confused. You're confused. You're you're confused. You're confused. And uh, look under your browser for Pathfinder Confusion. That's how you pull the spell. It's not in the book. It it is in the book. Confusion. It is. I love that. Roll on the following table at the beginning of each confused subject's turn each round to see what the subject does in that round. 1 to 25, act normally. 26 to 50, do nothing but babble incoherently. 51 to 75, deal 1d8 points of damage plus strength modifier to self with item in hand. And 76 to 100, attack nearest creature. Oh no. Yeah, him touching the door and manipulating the lock, that's what some of this thing. So anyway. The 34 dungeon room doesn't tell so me. So I roll a. It tells you the name of it. It's an Umber Hulk. Umber Hulk. Fuck. So D100. <laughs> what? The uh, yeah, percentage test? Yeah, and now we need to roll initiative. This is how you roll initiative. I should not have watched some of the episodes of Dead Gentleman. Hey! That's not that bad, Furnish. I got a 20, not natural. Fifty-eight. Twenty not natural. No, I got twenty not natural. I got a twenty-one. Twenty-one. What was yours? Oh, I did not roll initiative. I did my confusion. All right. And what are you doing, by the way? Just um, putting yourself. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> All right. Nice. One d eight points of damage and uh, plus strength. You, what initiative do you do that on? Sixteen, uh, plus. Uh, 16 plus 6, so 22. 
So I'm stabbing myself. <laughs> so, uh, 1d8 plus strength. So let me know when. You do that. Alright, so 1d8 plus strength. That's what you're doing. And then... Oh, you were just paladin. Okay, um, 12 points of damage. Is that every round? E, no, next round you'll be rolling dice again. I'm pretty sure this is evil this far. So I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna smite it. <coughs> I don't have my smite. By the way, this, the summoning uh, magic is still on the door, so next time that door is manipulated, it will uh, probably bring in another uh, creature. Another horrible fucking aberration? Yeah. Did you roll that on a chart? No. Or is that what's in the book? It's in the book. Okay. Congratulations. Here's your bowl of dicks. You may eat them as you like. But no immunities, no resistances, nothing like that, that I would know off of a 34. He's got tremor sense, he does confusing gaze, he's got good reach. Pretty crappy armor class. Okay. Is this an outsider? Nope, he's an aberration. It's an aberration. aberration. Cool. I would know all this, like, I don't yeah. know. Alright. A 34 would tell you most of this. Why don't we try one of these cakes here? No, wait for it. That's a bean cake. Never mind. Yeah, that's the bean cake. No, try it! No, 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 I'm good. Please? Never. Pretty, pretty uh, please. It said bean, no. Not a beaner. It's a mung <laughs> cake. A <laughs> Mung cake. Just douse it in olive oil. He'll eat it. Yeah. That is, I will. I will slobber all over. <laughs> olive oil well and rosemary. While doing this, Bruce, I rolled in that one. But I have this jar of olive oil. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what do you like with your olive anyway, oil? Anyway, mine's spice. Twelve plus three, so that's fifteen plus um eleven. That'll hit. Yeah, that'll fucking hit it. So... As hard as you can, hit it. Am I adding my paladin level to it? Uh, yeah. Okay. You're smiting it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll your paladin level. Alright, so 5 plus 10, 16 damage. Hell. And that's my first attack? Second attack. Will I add my, my paladin level to the second attack? Uh, it's against the target, so yes. yeah. Okay, I, I just didn't know if it was only for the initial smite. Yeah. No, it's for every... Piece. As long as it is alive, it is smitten. Uh, I got 14 to hit. No. Oh, wait, no. 14, 15, 16. 19 to hit. Mm-hmm. Let me do this back. What'd you roll? I got a 2. What's your regular bat? For the second attack, it's 6. Alright. Mm-hmm. So that's so 8. I, I didn't hit. And then what's your paladin level? 7. Six. Six? Do I add the paladin level to the attack roll? I thought it was just damage. Paladin to the damage. Charisma to the attack roll. Yeah. Charisma. All right. I, I didn't hit it. Second attack. Yeah. Bab is base attack bonus. Yep. So. <laughs> so <what's> You're like. Put <laughs> one <laughs> <laughs> knife in your hand. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You're gonna be. Coming. Oh, that I okay. I have to play fair since I have two weapons. Would that be both? No. Okay, no, just a, one. One weapon in hand. Right. <laughs> You're so confused. You forget the other weapon. <laughs> <laughs> At least I didn't hurt anybody else. It's just stabbing yourself in the face. I could have like attacked I somebody else. I am going to just magic missile it. <laughs> since there's people surrounding it. Four, twelve, sixteen, uh, hold on, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, plus three, nineteen points of damage. And then Lydia will do the same thing. Ow. Four. Uh, nine points of damage. It's a genie. Uh, move Aerodan's character up there. He's right next to him. 
Uh, you actually acrobatics back 15 feet. And when he gets to his feet, he uh, has his bow ready and lets fly. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, that was a wasted shot. Not a miss. Not a critical miss, but it's a miss. <coughs> Spicy fingers. Um, just He uh, starts talking about being inspirational. Gives everybody confidence. Alright. Yeah, we're holding Paladin, you've hurt me. <laughs> the bite attack misses you pretty happily. One of the claw attacks goes over your head. The other claw attack grabs you. Ow. With what? Um, pull the 30 on uh, confirmation. Ah, I have a 29 armor class <laughs> against it right now. <laughs> and you are pretty big hit, sir. It pinches your leg. Ow. Oh. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> So it's just how it starts vibrating. <laughs> 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 it's a magic helmet. It's just <laughs> magic helmet. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and it will do 18 points of damage to you as it pinches you in its claws. And your, not that your, bad. Your, you leg, <laughs> your leg will take... Two points of dex damage. You'll take two points of dex, dex damage. Okay, that's a little bit. Permanent or? Damage. It can be cured. Okay, cool. Now, you, uh... Good thing you haven't cleared the lesser restoration. No. Alright, infusion roll. <laughs> 60. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Uh, so it's uh, 1d8 plus the three. Younger, the younger Hulk keeps looking at you occasionally, keeping confusion going. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what he's doing. He's like, me, 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 looking at Brad. <laughs> oh, Two, yeah. so another 12 points of damage. Ow. <laughs> What's your strength modifier? Uh, Not that high, thank God. No, it's, it's 10, that's my ability to score, so it just says 1d8 plus strength modifier. Oh! So you, 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 only do, you only do whatever the dice says. Okay, alright. Thank goodness. Alright, so I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, so, uh, one minus four is... I don't want you dying from stabbing yourself. <laughs> I know! <laughs> No, I'm 37, not 20. Yeah, okay. That's what the two. Uh, so if I, run a, uh, if I roll 1 to 25, then the spell is broken from acting normally, or? No, uh, you keep it up until that thing stops staring at you. Okay. Somebody kill it, though I can't say anything, so I'm just doing <laughs> 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 I'm just stabbing my leg. Uh, yeah? What are you doing? Is it already, are we already like back at the top? You you are at uh, your niche. Oh, cool. Uh, we're, we're, you are at the second person, second round. Oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna smack the shit out of it again. Okay. Plus 11, so 19. You only get damage on the first hit from what I read. I, I know, but I still get the uh, no two plus hit. 11. So, uh... 19 plus 3, so that's going to be a 22. Is that going to hit it? Mm-hmm. 7, 12. Uh, yeah, so... Yep. 12 damage on my first swing. And then for my second attack, 16. Uh, that's going to be a 22 to hit. Okay. Three plus five, so eight. 
pulling the hit points off this thing pretty quick. Um, go ahead there, wizards. Kill it! <laughs> Alright, we're going to another magic pistol. Sixteen points of damage. Sixteen? Yep. Wow. This is gonna be moving so fast now. And then What's Lydia doing? Lydia's going to use her last magic. Sworn to carry your burden. Sworn to carry your burdens. Your burdens are my own. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia doesn't really do shit. Daisy has them from her. So <laughs> that is seven points of damage. Two ones. Do we get extreme points from the last combat? Mm -hmm. How much? I'll let you know here once you okay. kill off this combat here. And it falls down. My bad. Uh, oh, hey, guys, what happened? Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I bleeding? You're standing there just. <laughs> you're standing there, you got like a knife in your leg, you're like, oh, the <laughs> sword's hanging out of my leg. What happened? What, 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 what is there a sword stuck with? Who attacked me? <laughs> Don't worry about it. yourself. No. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> Ow. Cleric. <laughs> Spicy, my man. <laughs> She's got a face palm. Myself. <laughs> the combined total is 1,308 experience points for both combats. 1,308? Oh, yeah, that's right. We didn't hit the experience for the combat. 58,139 on my way to 77. Wait, 1380 or just 8? Eight? 8. Zero eight. Okay, alright. 0.5. Yeah. I need about 18,000 more. Woo! Totally possible. <laughs> I'm almost in the same boat. Uh, so is there any way to dispel this magic before we open this door again? <laughs> Because it, I do not have the spell magic. Oh. Does your does your compadre have to spell? Hey, I do not. Have, she's not high enough to cast the spell. Actually, she is high enough to cast the spell. Let's open another door. <laughs> Go right ahead. Here's the door. <laughs> Stand right next. You see the uh, spicy fingers cast the spell magic on that door, Woo! and then he goes and pries it open. Go spicy. Go spicy. One d six. Six. He'll land in my face. Hey, that's a good one. I'm Blasty Wizard. I kill shit, so spell magic is not on there. It's a very Blasty spell. It blasts off their enchantments. <laughs> Listen, whenever you don't have a spell slot, spell it by somebody to make you scrolls of it. Somebody hired Oh, I have it in my spellbook. <laughs> Let me make scrolls of it. Fuck the last time I was enchanting <laughs> items for the party, you dipshit. Fucking Kathleen Clary thinks he can tell it will work. Yeah. Mumble, 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 The elf wizard starts night aiming. <laughs> <laughs> that happens for <laughs> Listen here, shit for brains. <coughs> Divine. <laughs> that was another character that I liked from the League of Legends, was Carrot. Why? Because he's a fucking joke. 
<laughs> Why is he a walking joke? You, you know that old cartoon? Uh, what is this, like, Crystal Gems or something like that? Nope. What? Okay. Oh, perfect. I almost, almost pulled out. I'm like, whoa! It's all good. Anyways, it's like this old, ridiculous cartoon from way back in the day. He keeps quoting the theme song. Whenever he moves. <laughs> What gems are truly outrageous? <laughs> truly, truly outrageous. That's what he says. How he says it. He's he's quoting the old gem theme song. That's right. I told you now. It's funny. Gem. <laughs> She's truly. Gem the holograms. That's what it is. <laughs> See, I tried watching the movie. <laughs> Not having a whole lot else going on. And he, he fucking walks around. There's a skinny can get. It's like all pink and he has like little go-go boots on. <laughs> and he, yeah, he's like, gems are truly outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> truly, truly yeah, outrageous. I, I saw that like at a girl's house or something, the movie. That's, yeah. <laughs> really bad movie. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> well, it was cute, but yeah. Well, wasn't uh, the chick uh, Megan Fox in that? I don't know. I didn't watch it. <laughs> I thought, I don't know, I, I thought she was in it. Or, in, yeah, anyway. So, she's starting to read. Hallway, whatever. Yeah. Um, um, stealth in there. Well, walk cautiously. You get your brain back. <laughs> oh, good. Then, then Spicy will cure you of uh, 14 damage. Thank you, Spicy. Dude, I fucking hate this. Hey, Claire, how about you heal the Paladin's death damage? You know, that gaping wound on his leg. Because, you know, I kind of had to do my job. <laughs> I've already face palmed and healed the gaping wound in my leg. <laughs> you guys move away, the door shuts. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it shuts. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. And every time we open the door, we act this outrageous. True. I'm gonna pull that up again. I don't see uh I don't see Megan Fox in Jim. Who was in it? Uh Andre Peoples. Aubrey Peoples, Stephanie Scott, Ellie Kyoko, Molly Ringwald, isn't it? Am I the only one who thought that Jake was in like the last Transformers movie was hotter than Megan Fox? Okay. Um, no. no, this, no, no I, 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 which which Transformers movie? Three or four? I the like one the with the blonde. I like the one from three. The blonde one. That's oh, like got the car or whatever. And yeah. Yeah. She was, that chick is hot. But yeah, I, I I don't find Megan Fox looking that great. I, I I never thought she looked great. She looked like somebody's like parted up girlfriend. That was it. <laughs> The one time I was like, ah, it was when she was on the bike. That was about it. Like, at the beginning of the second one. Yeah. yeah. And then that was, like, it. That was, like, the only hot moment. And she gets out and, like, gets out and she's in the dress with her. So, and like, okay, I'm out of data, like, high-speed data, but that's what that fucker looks like. Terry? <laughs> 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 yeah. In the pink outfit. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get this thing to load. Gems are truly. That's what he says. He's like, gems are truly underrated. <laughs> <laughs> I think they like, changed it up like, recently, though. Yeah, they come out with so many freaking updates. Alright, um, All right. this room is kind of barren. You look around, you, you, you walk around here, and there's a couple blood scenes here and there on the walls, but this room is, for the most part, Nothing. Uh, Detect evil. Searching for. Can we determine? I'm assuming we can determine that those doors, doors are the doors that we could have entered. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we go to the one that doesn't have the enchantment on it anymore. All of them have the enchantment on them. After after half minute, this one reactivates back to its wonderful purplish power. In its, div in its uh, detection of magic. I'm, I'm searching for uh, hidden doors, traps, 
What was that thing that we were talking about that like destroys magic items? We need more of those. What was it called? Barbarians, first edition. No, but what, like, what was the thing called? No, they were barbarians, first edition. They ate magic items. No, it's like a field, like an invisible field. Yeah, it's a magic field. 15 plus 13, huh? uh, 28. It's magic field. It's magic field. field. Perception on secret doors and traps and whatnot. It sucks. I was like, why did you step roll, roll again for another. Uh, 16 plus 15. 16 plus 13. 29. Okay, you're a sorcerer. You step in it. You You'll find all of your innate magical abilities. Uh, permanently. You are no longer a sorcerer. Either. You're just okay. a schmuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if Winnie's sorcerer comes back. Just have her go into the anti magic build. No, no, I've got something for you guys and her, story wise, that will pretty much scare the shit out of you. You guys should be deathly afraid in the campaign that that never happens to your character. So, not detecting anything, guys, at all. Nothing. Pretty empty rooms. Can I kind of go through detect evil? Just have what? Can I just go through and detect evil? Just for detect evil, sure. No evil. No evil. No, no secret doors either. I just situate myself right over there. Yeah. Well, everybody, re open the doors all at once, and then you go. <laughs> <laughs> open the doors, it? and I'm we three. all pull ass. Ready? Can we like One, save game? Two. Is there a save point? <laughs> <laughs> If this was the Temple of Jing, I would say yes. Because the Temple of Jing is a big ass $100 book of a super dungeon in the middle of this jungle, way out nowhere. And it's like, as the characters move on uh, through, they will have various chances to earn extra lives for the party. If a party member dies, he can burn a life and he can come back. Because this is a deadly place. But it's meant to be beaten. So, automatically, it's like, ah, oh, no, I don't want to buy that. <laughs> <laughs> Here you can have a super easy Pathfinder treadmill. It's called Adventure Path, where you can have this Lost Lands product that players are probably going to have a few character sheets. Here's like Spyro for PlayStation One, or here's XCOM for PlayStation One. <laughs> Pokemon Beginner. <laughs> I'm sorry, the, the, the XCOM conversation is great. I was playing Spyro like yesterday. <laughs> I, I got Shovel Knight, so yeah, I know. I know pain. I was playing Spyro the Dragon yesterday, and I fucking burnt through most of it in like an hour or two. Yeah, it's like, I remember this being so much fun as a kid, right? It was still super fun. I mean, it was still super fun, right? <laughs> we like, ah, uh, you know, like, as a kid, you're like, oh my god, you know? As a uh, yesterday, I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful I game. Loved, I loved it's it's a very fun. easy game. Mm -hmm. Which door are you gonna go through, guys? I might have to like Spicy. Let's uh. Let's, uh <laughs> but I guess I'll join the party. Eh? Right the person I left it to. So we have spicy. You guys, we have spicy. Just all the magic on the door. Definitely gonna have to. It plays on PlayStation Two. Spicy will tell you that this door. door is probably going to be key to that so same monster we found before. Well, yeah. you can buy a digital copy on the PlayStation Network. Do you have any more Dispel Magic Spicy? I, I might not do that. So I'm like, oh my god. I'm out of here all spells. Those games. Like, so we can't, <laughs> yeah. we can't dispel any more doors, so... Or creatures. Should we go through... Why don't we rest first? No offense. Good idea, Spicy. We're in a so locked area. Rest. We're gonna go through all three doors at the same time. No, <laughs> no. Oh wait, 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 wait. We can, we can just stay here, open the doors, then after fight we could rest a full day, jack off, do whatever, and then within a week we'll level up. <laughs> Did the DM just give us a way to get unlimited experience points? I was thinking about that before he even mentioned anything. Before he even like walk through the fucking door. I was like, you know, we can milk this. <laughs> but... We should totally milk it. Airdam says that. It's like, I really want to be more than fourth level. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's the plan. We're just going to max points. experience points. So we're going to open all three doors at the same time. I'm just going to fireball, 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 and then reset, sleep, <laughs> Repeat process for like the next week. We're pulling a Skyrim and then we're <laughs> <laughs> But instead of 
shooting a fireball at your horse or get fighting them and magical beings and no, oh, we don't want to be there in the first place. We're doing a whole flame astronaut cast it on the friendly, you know, summon creature. Yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> that's that's how you get your destruction magic to like level fifty. Before can we you can we at least like fast forward through this? We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna play through every single combat round. <laughs> Let me go pee. Paul, take a urinary. Take a smoke break. All right. And uh, are we seriously doing this? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> <we're gonna play laughs> we should. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> Because we got like what, 1800 from the last one? We'll just fights. do it until Frank comes back. <laughs> yeah, I'll wow. be like level 10. Was that you or the door? Okay, I hope so. So I know that the way I'm running this game looks kind of like I'm cheesing it, but I'm not. What I'm doing is actually trying to give, one, we're having fun. Two, you do for your game what works for you and your players. Because in all honesty, that's the only ones you have to make happy. If you want to write your own books, if you want to write your own way to how to run a great game or what rule set, it's a free country. You can do that. What really matters is when you get together and all your friends are here, you all have fun. That's the main thing. A lot of people forget that. I'm texting right now. much fatter than what I really am. don't know a person and they think they have the right to get to know me through Facebook. Yeah. Strangers. Anyway.
save roll for destruction? I'm ready to just like annihilate creatures. Alright. spot in the world to stand right here after you've been outside. Which I tried not to be outside at all today. Yeah, it's like so what, like 90 degrees out there? Yeah. It's it was, fairly warm. It was, it was up to 82 degrees in my apartment last night at midnight. No AC? My AC's blowing. Yeah, oh, and it just didn't beat the heat. No, not at all. Uh, Miserable. Yeah, yesterday's he man next that they said was like 102 or something? Yeah, it was at 105 at one point. And it was like the actual temperature was like 95? Or? Yeah. That's one thing I like about my apartment is that both of my windows have trees in front of them. So I get like continuous shade. Yeah. And then where my big door is at, mm -hmm. um, it's like a building right there. Yeah. So like I, from roughly like 2 to 3 o'clock is the only time where like yeah. the sun actually like shines in. Yeah. And then that's it. I'm moving to a third floor apartment, but the others. Your AC will struggle. Yeah, well, there's there's only one big window, and it's in my bedroom, which faces west. Okay. And the window is like from so, here to like there. So, the evening, it'll be. Yeah, it'll be hot. You know, but if I keep it open, but I, otherwise, I'm on the northwest corner of a building. And so my living room is blocked by the stairwell. So it won't be too bad. Yeah. And tomorrow I'm gonna go just look at the apartment again and get a layout for I'm gonna put all my stuff. In my apartment, if I just leave the AC off, like the hottest it'll get is like 82. So I just sit in shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. God, I wish. Although I will say this past couple days, I've drank my fill. Uh, the only thing I've got left is like three cans of mead, and I'm happy. I'll be done. I, I dr we drank all my wine yesterday and my beer. So I ran the other group. I got two there? Yeah, I ran two there on, on Saturday. I bought my mother in law uh, when I came back from Afghanistan the last time, six months ago, right? Uh, her birthday is New Year's. I was going home, so I got her a bottle of uh, Moet Chandon Champagne from Dubai. Yeah. Like a $90 bottle, $100 bottle. And they still haven't drank it. It's sitting in the fridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to buy you to drink this. It's a $100 bottle of champagne just sitting in the fridge. Uh, and Moet Chandon is fucking amazing. Yeah, well, it is. Yeah. Awesome. Like, I specifically got this for you on your birthday. Like, you're yeah. supposed to drink it, you know, <coughs> little buzz. No, I haven't had hasn't even touched like it. Three years, I think. The last was New Year's. So, anytime I come back from Dubai, that's what I get them. Yeah. Because they can't really get it. You can't yeah. really get it here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And. Or it's super really expensive here. Yeah, it's super expensive here. In yeah. Dubai, it's fairly priced. Yeah. I mean, for a lot, like, what, you spend 90 bucks? You don't uh, have to pay any charge on it when you come? Nope. Oh. Duty free. Oh. So, uh, I go through and I'll get like, and they have like the different varieties. So I'll get the Imperial, I'll get the Rose, and then I'll get the, um, there's another one that I get, um, the Brute or something like that. Um, so I'll get three bottles. So it'll be like $300. Yeah. And then they'll like reimburse me for like two of them or whatever. Cool. So. But they're like, oh my god, like, did you bring it? Okay, because you said you're dying, I didn't even go get food. I hope you're happy. <laughs> That's what it meant, Longhorn? Oh. Longhorn? Oh. oh okay. It was faster to come and ask than it would be to text. Okay. So who's oh. dying and why? Well, no, we're not dying. Uh, <laughs> fucking Bruce, I'm out of here. <laughs> now, I got sunburned. Look, I got sunburned yesterday. And yeah. I got fucking swords whapped against my sunburn all fucking day. I don't Marby. have time for your sass. What? Marby? Yeah, I was at a after. That, that's 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 a good hobby for you. You need that. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm just saying, like you're gonna finally get, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna finally get some exercise. Yeah, it's fun. I was sore Monday through Thursday last and week, and I actually have lost weight still. <laughs> uh huh. Sure you have, Bruce. <laughs> I'm just know. kidding. You have you? Is this no, what Jonas said? That's what Jonas said. 
The book, would be, <laughs> the book would still look better than it did when you gave um, it to him. The thing is, is that, like, I don't have the stats for your team. I left my iPad at home. Yeah, you're dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I didn't have your character, so... I'm not enough to give you character. <laughs> 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 he's third level, he's not quite fourth level. And that's on it. Yeah, so he's not been running around with us, I apologize. We got it's fine. And what is he doing? He's at home, safe. <laughs> not, not causing. How far is this? That room? No. We're still in that guy's place, right? Oh yeah. Where is that room when we left off last time? Where the two S's are. That oh, here. Lost. Right there. We haven't really made it a whole far, but oh, like, gosh. uh, we still have four ate half hours. Today. You ate eleven, so go grab some more food. If you're hungry. I'm broke, Here's so yeah. I'm broke as shit, so I don't care. Where are you going to eat? Or where Longhorn. Are you going? I want a burger. What's Longhorn? It's that burger place I brought you those chicken tenders from. Yeah, chicken tenders is good. Okay. Now, or Domino's, I've decided to get the power leave or No, you're recording. Whoops. Yeah. No, you don't have to pay You paid for the room. I'm not a stripper. I'm not going to accept your money. <laughs> Yay! Because <laughs> I need those when I go down south. I knew it, Bruce. <laughs> those girls want to go through college. See, I'm here right now because I have, like, a set stomach, so... I don't want to go through That one burger didn't treat you too well? No. Yeah, dude. Whataburger sucks. No offense. What? I don't like Whataburger. It's been, like, you know, the last couple of days I've had, like, diarrhea and shit, so... I'm not a fan of Whataburger. It's expensive for how little you get. I like places like Cheddar's, and they actually season the meat. Yeah. Instead of just putting like half a pound of mustard on my single. What are you saying, man? That you don't need half a pound of mustard for a single. Sorry. Right. Me and uh, Paul, whenever we go to over to Alien Market, I always seem to buy new spices or sauces. That's fine. I like sauces. Bobby Rexus. <laughs> uh, that barbecue whiskey sauce. That was delicious. What about uh, that barbecue sauce I brought? That was good. Christmas. That was good. What was that? What what, what type was Homemade. that? Homemade. Okay. We need to do that more often, no offense. Um, we need to yeah. do more food? Okay. Uh, I almost brought pork roast today, but I didn't have a whole lot. I didn't know that people were showing up. About as many as last week plus Brad. What? Did did David show up? Yeah, he's going to watch. Uh, he's he out there still. Watch. He's out there still. I'll go bully him. That's, what you, that's what you do as a DM, right? You, you bully your players. I don't. <laughs> yeah, you do, Bruce. A red dragon appears. 54 damage. What do you mean you're dead? You're rolling through your heart. We just had a huge fight. What do you mean you're dead? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> you're a big bully with the... Have you ever played right. XCOM UFO Defense? Oh, don't. I have it. I have it. I played the second one, and I felt bad because I was like, save, reload. That didn't don't go too hot. Don't go on the building. Save, reload. That happened. That was funny. I was like, okay, I'm going to put everybody in the sniper position. No. Blaster bomb. Yeah, that's that, like one of like the big tanks. He's like, thump. Ah! We were explaining to, uh, to Brooke, Brooke. the, the game strategy. Okay, uh, so <laughs> it's it's a very strategy based game that is actually a lot more luck than you think, <laughs> because because buildings are destroyable and stuff. So yeah. if you put guys in buildings, they'll fall and they'll die or something. <laughs> and are like, if you just XCOM, I'm, just XCOM in general. Okay. Like it's all hard. <laughs> like, like you should save before loading a mission because it could change. Like I was like, okay, this is gonna be my strategy when I reload. Shit, this is all different. <laughs> Bruce understands. You. Yeah, cartoon. <laughs> it's a great game. It's a great. It's uh, it was it's fun. the best experience you'll have as a gamer. I haven't played XCOM UFO Defense, but I own it. You should definitely try and play it. <laughs> Enjoy. I'll play it on easy. No, <laughs> it's really, there's no easy. Have you seen I, that picture? And it's like um, doctors hate him, and it's the, the the brain guy. I forgot what he's called. Oh. And it's him in the first one, and him in the second one, and he looks a lot better in the second one. Yeah, doctors hate him because he figured out how to 
grow muscles <laughs> yeah. in two to three weeks. <laughs> it's funny, it's stupid, I love it. When the movie Life comes out with uh, Gillen Hall and Reynolds, you need to see that. Because that will put a new spin on your thoughts of uh, the isolation style horror films. Bruce, you barely got me to watch a movie that's out and free on YouTube. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, Bruce. But wasn't that a good movie? It was so good. I haven't watched the second one yet. Oh, I watched it. Did you watch Gamers? Yeah, I watched the first one like way before you guys watched the second one. And what happened was I was sitting in my car and it died. Battery. And I couldn't tell what the positive and the negative was because the positive didn't really have a mark and the yeah. negative was just a line. So there's a line and I'm like, I don't know any of this shit, so I had to fucking look it up. Because I have a car starter in yeah. the car. It's super cool. Oh, stranded in a blinkers. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, go, go, go. No. Grab Ting Ting. Go get your iPad. I don't want to. Go get your Ting Ting. No, that's so much work. Bruce. Right. It's only going to be an hour. You'll be fine. I don't want to go home. Why? Because I just don't want to go home. There's your partial character sheet right there. You'll need to use the interweb. This says gazpacho on it. No, somewhere it's a Ting Tang character sheet. That's be that other one. <coughs> this is Ting This is it. He's still this level. Yeah, and we don't know anything that you've got because <laughs> nothing's filled out. Skills, <laughs> special abilities, <laughs> bomb damage. I'm a board. I'm not an alchemist. Oh. Uh, Come on, that's his whole shtick. And his feats are obviously skill focused, knowledge, engineering, and a cat. That's his two what? feats. The what cat, remember? Slayer. Mouse Slayer? Yeah. Uh, I dumped I feats for a useless cat. Yeah. That's right. That's right, I remember that now. <laughs> no, I didn't remember at the time. <laughs> <clears throat> no, we didn't. I apologize. It's whatever. Um, but go grab food, at least. For yourself, not really for me. But you're going to be hungry because you've been beating on people all day. <laughs> You've been beaten on by people. All day. All day. That's great. I'm gonna order food. Now you look more like you look more like Cecil than anything else. What does that mean? No, my buddy, my buddy Cecil, when he was about your age, he had he was this really big Scottish-looking dude that like you out and. All right. So how does LARPing work? So basically, there's there's different levels. It's like if you're wearing garb and stuff, if you're going to play like full class, which is kind of like you think, but not really. And then there's just like, okay, there's your foam covered sword, here's mine, we're going to hate each other. That's what I'm getting into it for, it's super fun. I'm going to like buy swords. They're, they're into beating each other with the styrofoam weapons. <laughs> it's super fun and it doesn't hurt that much. Not really. If not you get whacked. Not until your buddy... Someone is stabbing and you step forward and you actually, like, fuck up your ribs, which has happened to one of you guys. Or if the, yeah. the thing is too if, small and you're jacking in the arm. Yeah, sometimes or if you have PVC. sunburn and people keep whacking you in the arm. That's my favorite. The, the PVC. PVC. Or what? No! I'm just running single That's sword. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm just running sword so I can get better at it. People lend them out. I don't even have my own sword yet. Yeah. So is it like, okay, uh... Paul, next time we play, I'll have two short swords, I'm going to keep them in my car, and we can go out to the asphalt, and we can whack on each other. It's literally just like fighting like sure. with the, like as have a you, kid? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, well, if you It's need, not complicated. It's not. <laughs> it is because it's fighting, but it's not what? complicated because it's... it's um, There's no like, okay, you're this character, you're this character. No, All you don't right, have to. That's, roll against no, your that's that's okay. not amp guard. Amp guard is more like, um, if you want, if it's your personal skill. Right, mostly. There's classes, but you don't have to. So like, and then you have to remember incantations and stuff, which is super cool to me. So you have to say it out loud, so people are gonna be like, oh, he's casting this or that. So okay. it's still personal skill. Okay. Kind of. It's fun. Who am I? Oh, I'm Am I in this room, or did I just go home? I put you over here, because I didn't have any information of yours. It's all right here, Bruce. 57 uh, this time. No. I, I, uh, I don't have my hit points. No. Your hit points, <laughs> your, your weapon damage, none well, of that. Well, I have a short sword. You were going to throw a bomb at a... There's a flush gold, but... 
Yeah, I forgot you're not, a, you're not an alchemist, so I, I don't know your character that well. Do you have Pluvius still? He might have Pluvius. I can be Pluvius. What's wrong with Pluvius? I don't have Pluvius. Jonah does. He's dead. Oh. Anyway. It says dead. Jonah, you, you got your food? Not yet. You got your food ordered or no? Not yet. Bruce. Okay. I think he just wants to play at this point. I just want to play. Right. Jack McPickle, dead. Durzel, dead. Pluvius, no. <laughs> Is that his middle name? <laughs> <laughs> Pluvius, no. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I'll play Pluvius for now and say it's tanked. So long story short, we walked into this room, they have conjuration spells on, and we fight an Umber Hulk because we opened it, and the spell reset. So I think right now the plan is we're just going to keep opening the door to get XP until we hit like 10th level. Hi! Or level, uh, level or two, or however long. The ranger works. looks at the <laughs> goblin that appears out of nowhere. Where did he come from? No, I slip out of the wall. <laughs> He's very Hi. sneaky. I'm rather scared. That's fine. You didn't play used to You're going to get used to it. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you do because I know, yes. Yes and no. Because I got bit and I had all my vials and shit. Yeah, you're the one that went up in a nuclear explosion. <laughs> it was great. Fun. I keep forgetting the location here. Bruce, can you give us a street address so everybody knows? No idea. It was a joke. I probably had it in this street card. The, the joke was you're recording so people yeah, can um, Sorry, I don't have the street address. Memorized. Obviously, it's 16350 Blanco, Staten 6, oh, 116. It's sweet, 116. STE is sweet? Yes. Oh, you learn something new over here? I could have just walked out and grabbed one. You, you could. Or. Alright, so anyway, you guys have rested up. That's Master Jonah. Let me go hunt him. Probably pooping. I can go get him. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to David, I'll go get him. Alright. Jonah! Come on, let's play! Come on! I forgot one of the things. He's still there. Jonah's been 